what's up out YouTube land? It's me, your boy, 87 Show Enough. And in case you just didn't know, it's about to go down. Okay, so before we get into all the other bullshit, let me first start off this segment by saying, in case you didn't know, this guy right here got nominated for something in the YouTuber's Choice Award. Now, guys, this is big. You see, for the longest times, I've always been that guy that's just sitting in the background and giving away the awards and then taking my little notes of how the awards, you know, went down. But, but now, I'm actually getting the opportunity to probably accept an award. Probably. Probably. I mean, like, dude. <laughs> I got nominated for something. That's fucking awesome. Oh, feel that shit. Feel it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good feeling to know that people care about your channel and care about what you're doing. Like, dude, to me, it's like, it's like pulling a Virgil and a Dante in the same pack. It's like, it's like Icky Woods getting some cold cuts. Number 44. Woo! 44, that's me! Get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts, get some cold cuts. Woo! Give me some! Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 44, ladies, that's me! Woo! I'm gonna get some cold cuts today. Honestly, honestly, like, you guys have to understand, like, the struggle is real. The struggle is so fucking real. Like, just making these videos, always trying to come up with new material that nobody else is doing, uh, always collaborating and hooking up with people, networking. It's really tough. This is not a game. Does it look like I'm holding a Nintendo 3DS? Bitch, this don't count, okay? I'm trying to settle something in Smash. I just want to say thank you guys for nominating me. It's it's a really, really awesome feeling. However, on the flip side of that coin, <laughs> Crow Cresta, he also got nominated for the same fucking category. So all that happened is <laughs> just, just all that happened is just feels kinda like I ran into the same joke like three or four times. Give me five. Oh. Up high, down low. Oh. Give me five. Oh. Up high, okay. down low. Nice try. What's on your shirt? Work. Bang. Give me five. All right. Up high. You're not tricking me hey, again. Look, I got you something. What you got? Kill him. But either way, win or lose, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I feel good about myself because I was noticed by you guys. Now, this is where we go from zero to a hundred real quick. You see, because on the other side of the spectrum, there are a couple of people in YouTube that just, God, okay. Guruzis, look, Alex, bro, um, yeah, see, I was going to upload a video on your last video about you bashing people and saying you deserve to be the next underdog, etc., etc. Look, if I would have done that, I wouldn't have been any better than you when you were bashing those other guys. Believe me, I did have a point to get across, and after reviewing the footage that I shot, I felt like it was it was wrong for me to do it. This video, I've taken some time to breathe and collect all my thoughts and not go into such a heavenly rant about the issue. But I feel like if you're one of those YouTubers that put in quality work, effort, determination, and exceptional skills, like me. Like me. Like me. <laughs> Like me. And of course, like me, your video was an insult. That's how I looked at it. You see, actually, 
I, I'm going to say both of the videos were insults. And I'll leave the link somewhere down below so the viewers, you guys, can actually go watch this shit. Because you guys need to know about this. Look, first, you went on ranting saying you deserve to be the very best and no one ever was. Dun, 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 dun. But shortly after that video, you go on to bash these other guys because they've been in the game less with for in a less amount of time than you have and they have quadrupled the amount of subs that you have you've been in the game for four years and you don't have over a thousand subscribers you're using this as a handicap and that's what I was going to talk about at first because you know I was going to drill this to you in the last video that I didn't upload because I wanted to spare you but I guess I'm going to get this point across to you now you see honestly I don't understand why I didn't get voted for, like, you know, top forward for the underdog or whatever, because I would look at it as a great blessing to be nominated, period. Like I said so in the beginning of this video, because what I don't think what you understand is it's not about how many subs you have. In the end, you should be doing this. Everyone should be doing this to either feel a void in their life, to communicate with people on video or just to make people enjoy watching YouTube videos about Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean that's that's what I feel anyways so I took this like really hard to hear you say all these things because I don't think you understand that in the end Hitler had a billion fucking subscribers and Jesus had 12 who the fuck cares if you have only less than a thousand subscribers, that's that, that's irrelevant. Your job is to entertain. Don't fucking care. Don't worry about what the next guy is doing. Worry about your channel and how you can rise to the top. If you want to be the next underdog YouTuber, you got to step the fuck up. You know, the reason why people like my channel so much is because I inspire the hilariousness out of them. I want them to laugh. I drop random vids in my vids all the time, like this one. This is Joe Grizz. I'm here to talk to you about this crazy guy. He is an idiot, an imbecile, a buffoon who does irrelevant, irrational, another E word I don't even know, things on YouTube. This is the type of shit he's on. And I still haven't gotten a thousand subscribers in four years bro four years in 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 four years okay you see that? That's called a collaboration. Okay? That's what you gotta do in this business, man. You got to you gotta work with other people. You got to work together. You can't go attacking other YouTubers. Especially my mentor on the world. Why why? Why? You did the same thing that you did in the last video. You started saying, I'm not gonna be a narcissist. I'm not going to talk about anybody. And then almost immediately, three to four minutes later, you go and you go throw Underworld underneath the bus because he played with toys. Maybe, maybe, just just maybe he was showing you how to play with your toy just a little bit better. I know that sounds completely gay, but I'm sorry, Dan. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. But maybe he was just trying to show you what not to do and what to do to get the most out of your channel. Dear 8 pound, 6 ounce, newborn baby Jesus, don't even know a word yet, don't even have your beard to your face yet, please give me the strength. In, in all honestly, I, I honestly hope you do well in this YouTuber Choice Award. I honestly do. That's from the bottom of my heart. I really do hope that like you get some votes. But if you keep going the way that you're going, I don't see. I don't. I don't see that being a thing. I, I just don't. 
I said a lot of stuff in this video. And I hope a lot of it connected and resonated with you in some way. So in closing, I don't want you to think that this is just some type of attack on you. I want you to really just hear, hear my soul, try to touch you and like get a hold of your sense. Somewhere in there, not Guruzis, because apparently he's an asshole. I just I just want to say, bro, please stop it.